Hey everybody, welcome back. So what we're gonna do in this part is we're going to imagine a woody stem that's gone through many, many years of secondary growth. And you've seen these things before. Um, you've noticed things about wood and bark. We're just gonna kind of formalize that and put some new terminology on it. So we already did this, right? A woody stem with a little bit of secondary growth. Instead, we're gonna imagine something, model something that's much older, that's gone through many, many years of secondary growth. And living in redwood country, I know you've seen big old woody stems before. So this model is going to be of a really old woody stem. It's gone through many, many years of secondary growth. Um, and I want to start this one in the same way that I did in the last one. I want to start it from the vascular cambium. The vascular cambium is just a ring of cells all the way around. Dividing to the inside to produce secondary xylem and to the outside to produce secondary phloem. Now secondary xylem in a really old woody stem is gonna produce all of these layers that you've seen before. All of that that's inside of here is secondary xylem. Well, secondary xylem is the same thing as wood. Right? Wood is secondary xylem. And it forms these layers. We're going to talk a little bit more about growth rings um, when we see this material in lab, but it forms these layers due to the cambium, you know, um, shutting down in winter. So that's our secondary xylem. Um, you may have noticed that in some really old woody stems, there's a darker section in the center. I'm just going to sh shade in this. Now, this is still secondary xylem, but this darker region on the inside is something they call heartwood. It's in the heart of the tree, right at the center of the tree. And it's going to be inside. Right out here, the lighter region of secondary zone, all of this right here, we call sapwood. Now, both of these are just regions of secondary xylem. They're gonna be a little bit different, a little bit different in color, right? Heartwood is darker. Sapwood is gonna be lighter in color. And it's gonna be closer towards that vascular cambium, whereas the heartwood is gonna be closer to the heart, the center of the tree. Now, sapwood, as that name implies, is sappy, right? And what that means is it's still conductive. It's still gonna do exactly what you'd expect xylem to do. It's still gonna be transporting water and minerals dissolved at the root surface up in the plant. Now, hardwood isn't gonna be conductive anymore. Instead, it serves more of a storage function Right, sometimes um, trees will dump toxins there too. Um, you know, both our sapwood and our heartwood are these strong xylem cells that also provide a lot of structural integrity, a lot of strength for the tree. Um, yeah, and heartwood, you know, um, because of those things that are deposited that make it that darker color, that both clogs it up so that it can no longer transport water. Um, and it also has oftentimes some really great antifungal, antimicrobial properties, which is important, say, if you're building. Um, say something outside and you don't want it to rot easily. All right, that's in the inside of our vascular cambium. What's the outside of our vascular cambium? Remember when it divides the outside, we're gonna get secondary phloem produced. And I'm just gonna add a layer. When you look at an old woody stem, secondary xylem is gonna be the most numerous cells you see. So there's gonna be a lot more of that than our secondary phloem. So I'm just gonna add this as a little layer all the way around. All of that is my secondary xylem or secondary phloem. And then outside of that, I'm just gonna draw some kind of like shaggy bark.
These are the paraderms. And notice I made that plural, because at this point we've had many different paraderms um, originate and form out here because right, we've had so much growth and expansion from that vascular cambium adding secondary xylem and secondary phloem. Well, that vascular cambium marks the boundary between the wood to the inside, right? All of the secondary xylem, both our heartwood and our sapwood, and the bark to the outside. So I just want to give you a couple of synonyms here um, for our secondary phloem and our paraderms. Secondary phloem is synonymous with this term inner bark. Right, it's the portion of the bark that's closer towards the inside. Right, it's our secondary phloem. The term paraderm is synonymous with outer bark. It's what's forming the outside of our tree. Um, you know, um, it's largely dead. Oftentimes, when you go up to a tree and you kind of flake off the outside of the bark, you're kind of flaking off those paraderm layers or those outer bark layers. All right, we'll leave it here for today, um, but we'll see more about this. Um, and we'll, we'll probably look at some cultural uses of bark in um, lab this week. See you later.